Let us look at how to formulate an LP model for an investment decision problem. A manufacturing company is contemplating an investment of rupees 100 lakhs in additional machinery to increase the capacity of its gear shop. The management decision is to divide the expenditure among gear shaping, gear hobbing and gear shaving machines in a way that maximizes the return on the investment and limit the expenditure on gear shaping, gear hobbing and gear shaving machines to rupees 40 lakhs, rupees 60 lakhs and rupees 30 lakhs respectively. So basically there is this manufacturing company and probably its demand is increasing so it's doing well and it expects more demand to come in the future. So the management wants to increase the capacity so that it can cater to the demand. Now there definitely are budget constraints on how much to invest. However they have decided to invest 100 lakhs in additional machinery to increase the capacity of its gear shop. Now in its gear shop there are three types of machines. First is the gear shaping machine, second is the gear hobbing machine and third is the gear shaving machines. Now definitely they want to invest in these three type of machines in such a way that they can maximize the return on the investment. Now for each of these type of machines they are limiting the investment. So they are saying that for the first type of machine that is gear shaping we can invest up to 40 lakhs. For the gear hobbing machine we can invest up to 60 lakhs and for the gear shaving machines they can invest up to 30 lakhs and collectively they cannot exceed an investment of 100 lakhs. So if you add 40 plus 60 plus 30 it comes to 130 lakhs. So definitely between the three we have to distribute 100 lakhs in such a way that it doesn't exceed these individual limits. The machines are expected to have landed cost of rupees 4 lakhs per gear shaping machine, rupees 8 lakhs per gear hobbing machine and rupees 6 lakhs per gear shaving machine. So basically we have been given the expected cost of buying each piece of these three machines. So the first machine costs 4 lakhs per machine, the second costs 8 lakhs per machine and the third costs 6 lakhs per machine. Now the expected return on investment is 8%, 15% and 20% on the gear shaping, gear hobbing and gear shaving machines respectively. So for this problem we have to formulate an LP model. So in order to solve this problem let us first summarize the data that has been provided to us. So we have machines and we have also been given the maximum permissible investment. Let us note this down in terms of lakh rupees. We also have the landed cost per machine this is also in lakh rupees and we also have been given the expected return on investment
so the first machine is the gear shaping second is gear hobbing and third is gear shaving so for gear shaping the maximum investment allowed is 40 lakhs for gear hobbing it is 60 lakhs and for gear shaving it is 30 lakhs the landed cost per machine for gear shaping is 4 lakhs for gear hobbing is 8 lakhs and for gear shaving is 6 lakhs the expected return on investment for gear shaping is 8 percent for gear hobbing is 15 percent and for gear shaving is 20 percent now the first step to formulate an LP model is to find the decision variables now the decision we have to make is to find or determine the number of machines of each type to be purchased so let us consider x as the number of gear shaping machines y as the number of gear hobbing machines and z as the number of gear shaving machines so here x y and z are decision variables now the next step is to determine the objective function now the objective is to maximize the return on investment in the machines so let us consider r as the return so we have to maximize this now we have been given the expected return on investment in terms of percentages so let's take the first case that is gear shaping machine so the expected return on investment for gear shaping machine is 8% so the return in absolute terms would be 8% of the investment. Now, how much are we going to invest in the gear shaping machine? So the amount of investment would be 4 lakhs, which is the cost of one machine multiplied by the number of machines that we try to buy. So 4 is the cost of one machine so we have already determined that x is the number of machines or the number of gear shaping machines that we are going to buy so the cost of x machines would be 4 multiplied by x now the expected return on investment is given as 8% for the gear shaping machines so 8% of 4 multiplied by x so we can multiply by 8 divided by 100 because 8 in, is in terms of percentage so 8 divided by 100 this in other terms would be 0 0.08 multiplied by 4 times x 
so our return for gear shaping machine can be expressed as 0 0.08 multiplied by 4 times x for the gear hobbing machine we have been given the expected return on investment as 15 percent now how much are we going to invest is 8 multiplied by the number of machines that we buy so we have already determined the number of gear hobbing machines as y so our investment in gear hobbing machines would be 8 multiplied by y and the return on investment would be 15 percent so multiply by 15 and divide by 100 in other terms this is 0.15 multiplied by 8 times y so 0.15 multiplied by 8 times y similarly for gear shaving machine the return on investment in percentage terms is 20 percent and per machine the landed cost is 6 so the total investment in gear shaving machine is 6 multiplied by z so 6z multiplied by 20 percent that is 20 divided by 100 or in other terms this is 0.2 multiplied by 6 times z so this is 0 0.2 multiplied by 6 times z so the objective is to maximize the return so we have to maximize r this can also be expressed as 8 fours are 32 and we have two decimal places so 0.32 multiplied by x plus 8 fives are 40 8 ones are 8 plus 4 12 and we have two decimal points so 1.2 multiplied by y plus 6 twos are 12 and we have one decimal spot so 1.2 times z the next step is to note down the constraints so the first constraint that has been given to us is the maximum investment in all machines must be restricted to 100 lakhs so max investment should be less than or equal to 100 lakh now the total investment in all machines will be the sum of investment in individual machines so for gear shaping machine per machine costs 4 lakhs so x machines will cost 4x lakhs similarly gear hobbing machine will cost 8 times y and gear shaving machine will cost 6 times z so that is the total investment and the sum of all these three should be less than or equal to 100 so we have 4 times x plus 8 times y plus 6 times z should be less than or equal to 100 now the second constraint that has been given to us is that investment in gear shaping machine must not exceed rupees 40 lakhs
Now the maximum investment in gear shaping machine is 4 times x. So in other terms 4x is less than or equal to 40. The third constraint is that the maximum investment in gear hobbing machines must not exceed rupees 60 lakhs. So in other terms, since we have 8 as the landed cost per machine, the total investment in gear hobbing machines would be 8 times y. So we can denote this as 8 times y is less than or equal to 60. The fourth constraint is that the maximum investment in gear shaving machines should be less than or equal to 30 lakhs. Now we have been given that per machine the landed cost of gear shaving machines is 6 lakhs and the quantity is Z. So the total investment in gear shaving machines will be 6 times Z. So we can denote this as 6 times Z is less than or equal to 30. And of course the fifth constraint is that X, Y and Z should be greater than or equal to zero.